Hey folks, Firemaker here, back for my second installment of this ARC Survival Evolved Let's Play. I'm picking up right where I left off in the last episode, so if you want to know what I've done since I've started this uh, new character, then just go watch that video because I've really only spent 20 minutes playing. So, I've just killed this little Fiomia. He is a fantastic source of meat and hide, which are going to be really helpful here in my early levels. My next goal is to tame something that can help me stay alive. Something that can help me survive. And actually also to build a thatch hut. I need a place where I can hide myself away from dinosaurs at night. And it's going to be temporary, so I'm not going to worry too much about location. I'm just going to go and build this stuff. Three walls, that'll be good gonna need more thatch, I'm sure. For the tools here, the metal, or I guess any of the pickaxes, the metal or the stone pickaxe are best for getting thatch off of trees, whereas the hatchets are best for getting wood off of trees, and they tend to do that for every kind of resource, where the pick will get you kind of the more common or less valuable resource, and the hatchet will get you the less common, more valuable resource. So like when mining rocks, the pick will get you flint and the hatchet will get you stone. Off of creatures. I'm gonna knock this Delo out. Wow, he's got a lot of good range on him. Nice! He's dead. Did not intend for that to happen. Torpor didn't kick in fast enough and he died and rolled all the way over here. I'm going to actually go for meat instead of hide this time. So I'm to pick. And while I'm in these lush trees, I'll pick up some more berries by hand, get some more fiber. I like to have a lot of extra resources on hand just in case I need it. Although I'm running out of inventory space, so I'm going to have to stop doing that. Well, I'm not sure there's any better place to build a base I'm still down here on this island, which separates me from the mainland. Looks like there's a cool base over there. And some Delos down there on the beach. Actually, a lot of and a scorpion. Ooh. Okay, risky stuff. Stego. All right. I'm going to build a base right here on the top of this hill. So I think it's going to provide me a lot of... Oop, here comes something to hit. Oh, that's not going to be good. Woo! I really actually want to tame this guy, so I hope he doesn't kill me. And I hope that I get enough torpor. Screen is shaking. Oh, it's because I had that held back. All right, I think I knocked him down. I did. Awesome. All right, this is going to be awesome. Really, really happy about this. I got a level 108 Delo sitting on the ground here. Nice, nice. Those are some good stats. This will be a fantastic guard dog when I'm out there. But I don't have enough narco berries to take care of her. Uh, so going to do a lot of narco gathering quickly here. Also want to get a storage chest down. Also want to get a house built. I guess this spot is as good as anywhere to do that. So got my walls done. Time to build door frame. Do a couple there. Do that. Cool. Small victories. I like to put my buildings just a little bit out of the way. If you put them directly on the beach, then other players see that as a really good sign, a good place for them to come and gank you. And while that doesn't really happen on this server, at least not to my knowledge, 
Um, I'd like to have as low of a pro profile as possible, even uh, even during PVE. Yeah, sweet level up. More weight. Carry more stuff. Get this door down. That. I'm gonna pin code it. There we are. Yes. Nice. He's gonna tame quick too. Shouldn't actually need a ton of berries to keep him down. Usually it takes 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes to a half hour to tame a Dilo on. Uh, one ta one x tame speed, and here we're at three x. So I should see him done in seven to ten minutes, in spite of his high level. Yeah. All right. Let's get the sleeping bag down, and then I will have a safe space. Did you hear that? It was crafting. Is that just crafting? Get sensitive. Get, get sensitive for all the sounds around me. The world's a dangerous place. Bed. Yeah, alright, I have a bed. I can come back to this now. Yay! I'm gonna have a really powerful Delo guard bodyguard. I mean, somewhat powerful. He's still a Delo. They're kind of weak. But in packs, they're fantastic. And a level 104 is nothing to. I don't know what the term is. I don't know. Be upset about. Be a good Delo. And it's not gonna come too soon because it's getting dark so I'm gonna get myself a campfire set up real quick and hunker down for the night do I have any EP yes storage box I'll have safe space and mortar and pestle nope what can I do what can I do what can I do pants we need pants we are naked from the bottom and the arms and the legs and the hairs just a shirt. So we need pants. Grab me some more flint. Alright. For the first half hour, I'm in a pretty good position. I'm really excited about the survival of the fittest game mode that the developers just kind of announced. It's basically the Hunger Game in Ark. I... One of the reasons that I really wanted to start up this character to do um, this kind of low-level playing and tinkering is to prepare for survival of the fittest. I don't know when I'm actually going to get access to play that game mode. They're supposed to release it in three days on August 13th, um, but I don't know when I'm actually going to be able to play it, whether we put it on the server or I have to go find another server. But the, the intent behind it was bite-sized gameplay. So you could actually get a full arc experience. Oops, I started attacking my house. A full arc experience in, you know, four hours rather than <laughs> the 200 or some that I've spent dedicating to the character that I have, uh, to my main character. So this is me playing and getting accustomed to what it's like to level up early and basically early game stuff. I am very, very used to the late game right now. Can I build this in here? It's probably not a good idea to build a campfire inside of a thatch hut, and I know the game structures don't actually catch fire, but just to make myself feel better about continuity and reality, I'll build my campfire just outside. And says the guy who's carrying a torch into and out of a thatch house. Okay. Okay. Gonna need some good food here. Some meat it is. I need to check on that D-Lo. Make sure he's not unconscious. So good. Yes. Get 10 torpor out of each berry. Which means I've got 150, 140 torpor left to add to him. Now just 90 out of 9 berries left. Mmm, do I feel like I need more? I don't know, we'll see. I don't want to waste any. 
But I also don't want to risk him waking up. So alright, we'll, we'll pump him full of, uh, we'll pump him full of narcotics. And I'm gonna go and gather some more berries. Just to be, just to be safe, because I'd much rather have him and have wasted some berries than not have him and have berries. One thing that I noticed is the more time we spent playing on this server, the longer the world save stalls happen. There's no real lag to speak of, but once every, I think it's set for 15 minutes, once every 15 minutes, the server will basically hitch for five seconds or so. Like you may have seen that there. I was trying to pick from that plant and the game wasn't responding. Um, this happens just as a feature of saving the world, so that if something bad happens, the server crashes or whatever, we still have progress. Um, the server does it every 20 minutes. I don't know how long official servers do it. I've seen a lot of complaints in the discussion uh, about official servers and them being very laggy and rubber bandy, but I know the developers are listening. They've done quite a bit to... I think they actually just changed their host provider for all of their servers, so I think they're doing work there. I don't much care for official servers. That's why I joined a private server and actually ended up take, joining a group of guys and, and we actually ended up um, starting the server ourselves. Just on official, it, there's not really a community there. What I've really enjoyed about this unofficial server is the community. They're, they're people that are talking all the time in chat. Even during PvP, there's still kind of that gentlemanly respect in raiding. It's really, really common on P uh, official PvP servers to just see your base entirely decimated, just flattened. Everything taken, all of your dinosaurs murdered, even the, the passive ones, and your base just razed to the ground. And I know that was really demoralizing for me. You know, I'm, I'm playing a game that I'd like to have kind of um, continuity in. I'd, I'd like to wake up and have my stuff still be there. I absolutely want the threat of PvP, but not necessarily the devastation that comes with playing on what's basically just an anonymous server, uh, an official. We'll get this delo done. Then I have to figure out what's next. What do I want to do? Build me some more spears, and then... I want to start hunting bigger things. I want to get a bigger dino. I want to get um, a more stable base. I want to move inland. I want to go explore the danger that really is the island. Because I'll tell you, flying around on an Argentavis that's level 150 something, and you're in full flak armor with a fabricated shotgun and it, uh, it really changes the perspective of the game. There's, there's not a lot of risk anymore. But here on foot, as we saw, when I got one-hitted by a turtle, there's now considerable risk. And actually, I usually avoid crates. At least the white ones, because as a level 80, they don't really do anything for you. They just have thatch stuff in them. But that white crate over there is pretty appealing. So I know it's already on the ground, and they have a death countdown. So it might disappear before I get there. And I think it might be an overstretch to try and get out there. So I won't do that, but I'll see if either of these dilos are worth taming. Who are you? Level 24? Who am I kidding? They're worth taming. One down. I don't even know what level you are. If you sidestep that green stuff, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt you. And she's down too. So that 104 just finished, that's why I got the dossier pop-up. This will be d -low. Just because I can. And actually, d should have some meat on her. And some narcos. So 
this on you. Get you working. I'm gonna need to find some more meat. One of the good things about dinosaur taming is that if you don't feed them, the tame process doesn't even begin. Shock. It doesn't even begin, but um, it basically just says this guy's going to wait until he wakes up, and I don't actually lose any taming effectiveness because he's waiting. Once you start taming, if, if I weren't to feed this one, if I were, this one were to run out of food, that taming effectiveness would start to drop. Whereas with this guy over here, he's just going to wait <laughs> unconsciously and patiently until I give him some food, and then taming will begin, and, uh, and then I can't stop after, after it starts. But that gives me a little bit of time to find some more narcos and to get some meat. Hmm. Given that that Carbonemus earlier really took me to town, I'm a little hesitant to attack one. But I'm not sure that I have any other option. There's some dodos over here, but they're not going to give me a lot of meat. But I guess that's all I've really got. So I'm actually going to use this Delo to do the hunting for me. This is a cool new whistle. Attack this target. No? Cool new whistle. Yeah? There we go. 133 Delo versus... A level 12 dodo. Mission accomplished. We've got meat. Yeah. Let's do that again. That was fun. I like using these crosshairs to make sure that I'm pointed right on target. Dilo versus a level 16 dodo. Once again, fantastic work. I'm really glad I tamed you. More meat. And I need more narcos still. So I will pick up these plants as I head back over to my downed Delo friends. I'm really looking forward to having a pack of Delos again. Um, first time I played, got a pack of Delos. Second character I made, pack of Delos. They're a really underrated creature. People are like, oh no, no, just go get a Karno. Well, first off, at a low level, really difficult to do. Second off, Delos in a pack are fantastic, especially versus players, because of that blinding spit that they have, which also disorients dinosaurs. So, get a pack, they're spitting, they're attacking, you don't know what direction they're coming from. It's like getting attacked by a pack of bees, which, while there aren't bees in the game, the devs have definitely put in ants that are just as annoying, or aggressive ants. Um, not a huge fan, but same concept. Mass attack something and overwhelm it with numbers rather than pure single character strength. There's something in the water over there. Might be another player around. I don't know. Not gonna worry about it. Gonna give you some more berries, gonna give you some meat so you can start taming. I'm gonna hurry up and try and get some more narcos so that I've got Plenty to keep him unconscious. Oh, one other cool thing on this server. Yeah. Wow, that was a really fast team. Ew, it's the lower level. Wait, was that the... <laughs> okay, that was the guy that I literally just put meat on. He, he tamed in like... 20 seconds. Alrighty. We're gonna call you... Speedy. Because I'm unoriginal with my names. Uh, but cool. All right, he's done. So I don't, I don't actually think I'll need more narcos because these should last. We're calling you princess. These should last princess, and then I'll have a little Delo army, and can go attack some other stuff. So, uh, one at uh, 40 minutes into this game, and I'm doing pretty well. I'm feeling pretty good about where we're at. Uh, although I am hungry. So I'll hit the campfire here and I will come back on the other side and we will use these delos to go ruin some stuff. 
see you in a bit, folks.